front end is the body of a website. What you see, what you interact with, all right? But back end is the brains, okay? In our case, in this camp, we're gonna make only the body. We're not gonna have the brains, all right? Now, the front end, which action is on the front end? On the front end, the action could be send comment, all right? You type a comment on the front, you click send comment on the front, and there's a signal that goes from the front to the back that says save that comment on the database, all right? So this is a big difference between front and back, all right? The user touches the front, all right? But the data, what it saves the data, where it saves it, the images, everything goes here, all right? Any questions on the left? No. All right. So this is how Instagram would work, right? Purple one is front, yellow one is back, all right? So this is me. I go to Instagram.com slash explore, right? And while I do this, the website loads. Now, this process that I'm explaining right now, it takes milliseconds, all right? You actually never see the loading thing. It's really fast. So I go to Instagram.com explore, it's loading. Now the server, the browser tells the server that I want the images in slash explore, all right? It says, hey, Nicolas just logged in and he wants the images in slash explore, all right? Now the server has to talk to the database, all right? The way to talk to the database is with these languages. All right, there are many languages for the backend. So you can talk to the database with Ruby on Rails, with Python and Django, with PHP, with Java, with .NET, with Haskell. There are many, 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 many ways of talking to the database, all right? Because a server is just a computer and you can program a computer in any language you want, all right? So that's why we have so many options when we do backend, because backend and this is, the, is a way of just talking to the database. The database is just like imagining a big Excel file. All right? This is the way of talking to them. So, the user goes to explore, and it says view the images in explore. Database goes, searches, there are also many kinds of databases, but this is out of the scope. And then the database gives the server the images it wants. All right? And the server then, shows you a page with the image, all right? So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna act like the server already did all these things and answer us with our pictures and our profile and our data and our comments, all right? But this is the big difference, all right? Now, you could do both if you want. You could do one if you want or you could do the other one. In my case, I do both. And I think it's better for you guys, if you guys want to travel the world and do stuff, it's better to know both. Because if you know both, there are more jobs for you available, right? You're not limited anymore to only, oh no, I only know back, or oh, I only know uh, front, that's it, right? We had people here that they only knew back end, for example. So they couldn't make a website on their own. They know how it works, they know how to make the database, the complicated stuff, the users, the passwords, the emails, everything, but they don't know how to show it. Right? And the other ones know how to show it, but they don't know how to, what happens when I click here and it goes to the email and the password, and the, they don't know, all right? So if, if you guys take all this and you become one, it's awesome. And it's called a full stack developer now.